welcome to Friday's Cooking Show Live. If you're catching this live, comment live. If you're catching this in replay, comment replay. And today is all about teaching you how to make the crispy, delicious wings in your air fryer, okay? And while we're waiting for those, I'm also going to show you a quick, easy appetizer that your kids will love for New Year's Eve. But adults love it too. I've done this for dinner before. It's a great appetizer to bring to a party. It is always a great hit. So as you're joining in, make sure you comment and you share so you can enter this week's giveaway. Every week I give away some Pamper Chef products delivered right to your door. All you got to do is comment and share. I would greatly appreciate it. So we're making chicken wings, right? Let me know if you love the drums or if you love the flats. I'm a flat girl, extra crispy. Yes, yes, garlic parm or buffalo. Mm, so good. So we are going to make some chicken wings today. Super, super easy, okay? You guys ready? Put a one in the comments if you are ready. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our chicken wings. Now, listen, if you're part of one of the virtual parties, if one of my virtual party hosts is here or some guests, make sure you comment and tag some of your guests and share this video right into your party for the live demo. So, you need about two pounds of chicken wings, okay? And the cool thing is, is we're not deep frying them. I had to weigh it out because I got a, I got a big bag. We are not deep frying them, so we're eliminating some of that extra grease, you know? Um, but there's a little trick that you can do with wings in your air fryer to make sure they are still crispy, okay? So here's another little tip, by the way. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but our cookware actually helps thaw out your meat a lot faster, okay? So if I touch this right now, the outside of this cookware is completely ice cold because I just got an Instacart order like an hour ago and I was like, oh God, the wings are frozen, crap, 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 right? So uh, I put it in my 12 inch skillet and you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see all the water that's already out here is the wings thawing out so much faster. So not only does the cookware help you cook evenly as well, so if you're making a big pancake, it's completely, same type, you know, same like brown as golden brown, but it also helps thaw out your meat when you forget like, you know, to make dinner. So we are going to, um, the one thing you want to do is you want to make sure you get rid of all that moisture. So you want to pad dry your chicken wings. Okay. Let me get rid of my bracelet here. You want to pad dry your chicken wings so they're nice and dry. And you want to try and get rid of all that moisture. Okay. Just get it all padded nice and dry. And then we're going to put it right into our bowl right here. Just kind of pat it all dry. All right, so let me know, are we team drums or team flats? And then don't forget, I'm also gonna teach you a super quick, easy uh, appetizer, but I actually think it's a really good cheap dinner for kids or your family too. My family loves it. All right, let's get rid of these. So I don't touch any chicken over here. All right, so we're gonna keep going. Just get rid of as much moisture, excess moisture as you can. Now these are still a little bit frozen, so they might have to cook a little longer. That's okay too. But if it's one thing we don't like is bland chicken, right? So we're gonna season this, and I'm gonna show you the secret ingredient. Um, let me know if you guys know what the secret ingredient is for chicken wings in your air fryer to make sure they're nice and crispy. And I would love to know, it is almost 2023, is there anyone out there that doesn't own an air fryer yet? Like comment below if that's you, I would love to know who doesn't have one yet because I wanna hook you up and wanna make sure I get you one in your kitchen. So if you do not have one yet, message me air fryer and I'm gonna give you a nice good deal on one, okay? Cause I don't know, it's 2023 and we don't have an air fryer yet, right? So uh, my kids love their air fryer. Look at all this water, right? So this is all of it thawing out in like less than an hour. So it does help thaw out your food, your frozen food as well. Okay, so we are going to um, simply season this with salt and pepper and all those things. But here's one of my favorite seasonings. <laughs> okay, I can put this, I, I eat a lot of chicken, right? Like lean chicken, good source of, pro, source of protein. But if it's one thing I absolutely hate is if, I don't know if I'm, I'm the only weird one, let me know, but I don't think I'm alone. If the chicken <laughs> tastes too much like chicken, I won't eat it. Does that make sense? If it's like grainy, I'm like, ooh, and I can taste like the chickeny, 
that I can't eat it. It needs to be like coated and seasoned and thin and all the things. Like crispy, it can't be like sloppy, right? We, we can't do that. So I love to use our rotisserie seasoning. So we actually have specific air fryer seasonings which means that they're really, really fine. So when you cook them in your air fryer, they don't burn like regular seasonings, okay? They're really, really fine, designed to work great in your air fryer. So I'm gonna use this rotisserie seasoning. It's really great. So this air fryer has some hooks, not hooks, but like a, what is it called? Spear, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so you can actually do a rotisserie chicken in here as well. Uh, it has like kebab sticks you can purchase and you can make little kebabs. I've used them for hot dogs before um, as well. And then we use about one tablespoon of vegetable or canola oil, okay? All right, did anybody tell me what the secret ingredient is to making your air fryer chicken wings crispy? Yay, Becky says you love your Pimper Chef air fryer. Use at least twice a week. Yes, I don't know how I live without an air fryer. In the summer, it's like the only thing that I turn on. Um, Geraldine says the rotisserie seasoning made the best turkey breast I've ever had. Oh, that's great for turkey breast. Uh, Lucky Lady says, I don't have an air fryer. That's a trick. I hook you up, girl. <laughs> All right. I don't know if anybody saw it or shared it, but it is the secret ingredient is baking powder. So about two teaspoons. Now, normally you use baking powder in sweet items, right? When you're baking. But in this case, we're using it to create that crispy skin on our chicken wings. Okay, and I can't help but like, do you guys remember anybody like do like TikTok and stuff, right? There used to be a song, I can't even believe I'm gonna say this, but it was like chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken wing with macaroni, chilling with my hoe. Does anybody remember that name? Anyways, all right, so you wanna make sure you coat this. Now, if you want it extra crispy, uh, which normally would be me. I like, like when I order chicken wings, I'm like extra crispy. I cannot have floppy chicken wings. That is gross, okay? So um, you can put the baking powder on here and season it and then just leave it in your fridge for a day and then cook your chicken wings the next day, okay? So you can let this kind of sit for a few minutes to make sure everything is nice and coated. Now, I'm gonna season it up even more because like I said, I do not like plain chicken. So I'm gonna use some garlic and herb as well. And then of course, once these are ready, you can toss them with your buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce, or um, some of you guys, I like it just dry, <laughs> okay? What's your favorite wing sauce? Put it below. I would love to know what your favorite wing sauce is. All right, so here we go. This is about two pounds, okay? You're gonna cook it for 30 minutes and halfway through, we're gonna switch the trays. All right, so let's do this here. Get our trays. I like to use, it comes with a black tray on the bottom and then this is something you can purchase separate. It's a um, drip catcher or something, something like that it's called. Um, so if you're cooking bacon or something that catches all the grease, so I love to use these all the time because it's super easy to clean. Um, and speaking of our air fryer, this is, of course, Paper Chef's air fryer. It's one of our host's favorites. Our hosts love to get this for half price when they host a virtual party. So if that's you, make sure you comment virtual party and send me a message. But obviously you can air fry. It's basically like an easy bake oven, okay? So you can bake in this. Like I said, if it fits in here, I would rather use, then, use that than heating up my whole house in my oven, especially in the summer. You can roast um, rotisserie. I told you, you can do like a rotisserie chicken. We made a rotisserie pork one before, cauliflower. You can do the pineapple like you get at the Brazilian steaks house. Mm. Um, you can reheat. Okay, guys, <laughs> reheat is like my favorite thing in the world. For those of you guys that are just starting to follow me, about almost two years ago, we moved closer to um, New York City. So we're like an hour away from the city. And when you get a pizza here, and then somehow we happen to have leftovers, right? Uh, the next day you put your pizza in here on reheat, it is like you just picked it up from the pizza place. It is so good. Or if you are uh, eating out and you know, you, I don't know, portion sizes here are crazy, right? So you always have some fries or something. Normally you can't really reheat fries because they're gross the next day. But if you put them on here, spread them on a tray and you can reheat your fries. Mmm, so good, okay? It takes leftovers to the next level. I also used to reheat to just toast some bread 
or I reheat up some rolls or something like that. I used to reheat three chickens with only five minutes. And then you can dehydrate. Um, I think I've only used it once, but you can dehydrate, you can make beef jerky, you can hydrate, dehydrate your pineapple, banana chips, apple chips, all kinds of stuff like that. So um, it is the air fry, okay? So if it's still, you do not have one yet, message me and I'll hook you up. All right, so let's get our chicken wings all spread out over here on our two trays and then put these in for like 30 minutes and if you have any questions as usual just put them below um, if for some reason I miss your question or you don't get an answer um, the best way is always to just directly message me okay that makes sure you get make sure it doesn't get missed and you get an answer for sure all right here's our first tray going in one on the bottom and one on top and then what's really cool about this air fryer is it will tell me halfway through it will tell me it'll beep and then I can switch and flip the trays over okay so obviously I'm not going to keep you guys for 30 minutes but I did want to show you one really quick appetizer I showed this I don't know maybe a couple months ago for dinner but um, we have a party to go to tomorrow and I was like hmm, what do I bring what do I bring and I was like oh I'll bring those so I thought it's a great time uh, let me know like what are we doing for New Year's Eve like the days for me in my mid 30s of like Try to stay up until midnight, I'm gonna need a really long nap tomorrow. I might need two naps, okay? Uh, it is a struggle for me to stay up that late. Uh, you know, back in the day, I didn't even leave to go out until like 10 p.m., so uh, those days are definitely over. So let me know what your guys' is. What are we doing? What are you guys doing for New Year's Eve? I love to watch the ball drop. I would never go. Uh, I would only go if I could like, stand in a sideline or somewhere have a specific spot <laughs> so here we go 30 minutes um, I'm not gonna turn this on right now because I have to move this I have to, I would have to move this um, cancel air fry and put it for 30 minutes because I'm gonna have to move it over here because that's where the plug is okay um, all right I'm gonna show you a really quick appetizer really really quick okay and then don't forget to comment and share and I'll draw the winner for last week. Okay, this appetizer only needs three ingredients. You guys ready what, to see what they are? And let's see what you guys are doing for New Year's Eve. Well, let's see, let's see. Uh, we like sweet, mild, red, real maple syrup. Yeah, there is a difference, right? Between real maple syrup and the one in the store. Brittany's staying home. Yeah, yeah, all the moms are staying home. Uh, where do I find this recipe? Uh, you can find it if you click the link tree in my bio and you go to my website, you can type in air fryer wings and you'll see it or you can message me and I'll send it directly to you. Okay, all right, here we go. Here's, let me go get the third ingredient because I left it in the fridge. You want to leave it in the fridge until you are ready, okay? Um, of course, I'm not sponsored by Aldi's, but I think I should be. Uh, anyways, of course, they're from Aldi's because Anywhere else, the prices are pretty much crazy. So, um, so here it is, three ingredients. You need biscuits. Ooh, there you go. There was a pop all by itself. Biscuits, meatballs, polpette in italiano, and mozzarella, <laughs> okay? Now, don't kill the Italian. These are frozen meatballs. Um, I'm out of my homemade ones, so we're just gonna use regular ones. That's okay, okay? It's all about balance in life. Um, so this is a, this can be a fun appetizer for the holidays. It can be a fun appetizer for any party. It can be a dinner for your family, okay? It can be whatever it is that you want it to be. So three ingredients, biscuits, meatballs, and cheese. String cheese works, mozzarella, whatever you got laying around will do the job, okay? Uh, what is wrong with this one? It's all lopsided. <laughs> Anyways. So you lay out your biscuits and you want to separate them because we don't need the whole thing. So this actually uh, turns into 16 little meatball thingies, bubbly meatballs, biscuits, whatever you want to call them. I don't really have a name for this, okay? One of my friends taught me this like, gosh, a long time ago. I think I wasn't even in the US when I learned about this. Maybe I was, I don't know. 
So anyway, so you separate them all out, right? I'm not gonna keep her here this whole time. You take your meatball, la polpetta, that's what I call Gigi, my meatball. Anyways, and you push your meatball in here, okay? Then you take your piece of mozzarella, or string cheese, or cheddar cheese, whatever, whatever makes you happy, okay? Take a little piece of that, squish it somehow on top, put it in your hands, and then seal this up, okay? Now, what you're gonna do next is you can lay this in any pattern that you want, okay? If it's Christmas, you make it a Christmas shape, okay? If it's Easter, you make it an Easter egg shape. If it's Valentine's Day, ooh, who wants a meatball, cheesy Valentine's Day heart? That sounds really good, that sounds better than chocolate. <laughs> All right, would you like to have that? Is it better chocolate? I think so. Um, let me know. Would you prefer that over chocolate? Hmm, I think so. Anyway, so you can make it in whatever shape you want. Um, if I don't need a specific shape, I just put it in my baking pan, whatever baking pan you have. Ooh, almost forgot the cheese. And um, once you have these all done, like I said, this will make 16 little meatball bubbles, okay? Like that. So once you have these all done, you put them on your pan, cheese, bar pan, whatever it is that you're using. Spread this with some olive oil, some Italian seasoning, some garlic, and then you just get your pizza sauce, make your pizza sauce, tomato sauce, and you dip it in there. Okay, sound good? All right, cool. So I showed you today how to make wicks easier and cheaper at home without the mess of frying it. All right, get your air fryers out. And I also taught you a fun little appetizer. So let me know if this is valuable to you, common value in the chat. And what I always share in my videos is there are three ways to get our Camper Chef products, right? Obviously, um, for those of you guys that have been following me for a while, let's see, how long have you been following me? I've been doing this for 12 years, right? Uh, moved all over the world with this, Virginia, Korea, New York, done cooking shows in Germany, Italy, crazy, right? Anyways, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so I always like to share the three ways you can get these products. Of course, all of our bowls, knives, air fry, everything is all paper chef, right? My whole kitchen is paper chef after 12 years. But anyways, there's three ways you can get our products. Number one is you can go to the link tree in my bio and purchase and have a fun shopping blast. Now, if you're part of one of the virtual parties, you don't wanna go to the link tree in my bio, you want to go to your host party so your host can earn their rewards, all right? If you spend $80 or more, you get a free gift. If you spend $150 or more, you get free shipping, all right? Um, the second way you can get our products is, let's say you are new to Pamper Chef and you want a lot of things, or you're not new and you still want a lot of things. Message me virtual party, a common virtual party. Um, but like I said, if you can't get a hold of me, direct message is always the best. And I will set you up a virtual party on Facebook or off Facebook, doesn't really matter. And you just invite your friends, it's all online, your friends shop, and you get free and discounted items, okay? And the third way to get our products and allow me to help you change your life is to do what I do, okay? And to become a Pamper Chef consultant, sell on social media, off on social media, parties, whatever. And you can make a little bit or a lot of money, okay? I've been doing this for 12 years. Uh, when I first started, it was to make an extra $500 a month. And now here we are uh, 12 years later and over the last six years, um, I've made enough to fully support my family on my income, okay? So I would love to help you as well, especially if you're looking to maybe pay off some debt or maybe go on vacation in 2023 or maybe you have some new goals that require more income. I would love to chat with you. So if you have any questions about that, drop them below or go to the link in my bio to sign up. And then I would love to mentor and coach you as well. So let's do a drawing from last week. Make sure you guys comment and share um, so I can uh, give something for you away next year when I'll see you guys next year, okay? Um, so hopefully this was valuable, common value if you enjoyed this. Uh, great idea, value. Yay, love it, love it, love it. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, so let's do a winner. It's a pretty big chance every month because, or every week, because there's not many of you guys that share. So comment and share, I would greatly appreciate it. So here we go. Our winner is, here we go. And it is, I don't know if she's on. She watches all the time. Dana Young. Make sure you message me your address, Dana Young, so I can 
get those goodies to you. So I'll get these wings going, get these meatballs in the oven, bring them tomorrow as well for an appetizer. It's a cheap appetizer too. So you can feed a lot of people with this, right? We're all about budget friendly meals here in my kitchen. So have a fabulous new year. I appreciate you guys so much. Here's to 2023. I'll see you guys next year. Ciao, ciao.